Hello, my name is Andrew Gent from VaultDB Engineering. Today I'm going to be showing you how to define and deploy a database using the VaultDB Enterprise Manager. The Enterprise Manager is a web-based tool for managing and monitoring VaultDB databases. And so how we're going to start, since we want to add a database, is we'll go over to the database list on the left, click on the Add button, then a dialog box comes up letting you describe the database. In this case, we'll be using one of the sample applications which comes with VaultDB called Voto. That's what we'll use as a name. We can also optionally give it a description. Let's call it a sample application. Then we also have to describe the attributes of the database. In this case, we want to make quite sure that it's running two sites per host. And we'll run a case safety level of one, since we'll be using two, data, two servers to run the database. You also want to define a destination directory. This is where the Enterprise Manager stores the files it needs to use on the remote database servers. So we'll give it a meaningful name. And finally, you want to load the catalog, which actually contains a schema for the database. They say we'll be using the voter application, so we'll use that catalog. When it opens, the Enterprise Manager verifies that. And tells you a little bit about it, and now we've given it all the information we need, and we can create the definition. As you see, the database gets added to the database list. It also shows up on the dashboard on the right. Um, gives you some basic information about it and about the catalog. It also contains a server list, but we obviously haven't assigned any servers yet, and so what the next step would be to add some servers. Server list comes up. I can add the servers I need. In this case, I'll be using 4B and 4C, so I'll add the second one. And now that we've added the servers, we've given it all the information it needs, and we can actually start the database. If we click on the Start Database button, it asks us one last question, which is how we want to start. Um, you can start in normal mode, where the database starts and is ready for client activity, or you can start in admin mode, where client activity is suppressed until you decide that you've done everything you need to get it started, or you can start in admin mode and restore a snapshot if you have one. We don't have one, so we'll be starting in normal mode. Once I click Start, the icon for the database starts spinning, showing that there's been act that some activity. It's attempting to start. And it's essentially, what it's doing is copying over the catalog and all the software needed to run the database to the database servers. You don't have to pre-install VaultDB on the servers. The Enterprise Manager takes care of all of that for you. Ah, and now, as you can see, the, the icon has stopped spinning and has turned green indicating that the database has started and you'll see that the server icons have also turned green. And that's how easy it is to define and start a database using the Enterprise Manager. Um, if you want to try this out for yourself, you can start try it by downloading the, a trial version of the VaultDB Enterprise Edition from our website. Thank you.